EA Sports. It's in the game. This is EA Sports, EGA Tour coverage coming up next. Today we're here at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington. Rich Lorder alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports, set to bring you all of the action. Frank, what can you tell us about this golf course? We've got a big golf course in front of us today. Uh, Robert Trent Jones II designed this golf course really to fit in with uh, these mar marvelous surroundings. But consequently, we have like what I would call a, almost an inland links. It's going to play like that. Ideally, you'd like to play this golf course through the air, but it's very exposed to the elements. Down to the first tee now to get the round going and a stout par four, Frank. Yeah, straight out of the gates. The wind obviously uh, very important here. If you were to play into a head breeze, this would be a, just a mammoth hole, just under 500 yards. Fortunately, with a little prevailing breeze, though, it'll shorten up considerably, but we'll bring that bunker on the right in play. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Now his third, staring right at the green. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. This is a nine-footer. Even par early on. Ready to tee off here at the second. Frank, what's it all about? Well, you hit your tee shot here through the dunes, uh, Rich, not overly long, just under 400 yards. Uh, the bunker on the left really shouldn't be a problem. Just uh, avoid the dunes on the right and left. Uh, nice. Looks good. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Let's see what McElroy does now with his second. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Some snack though. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. This putt for par. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. At the third tee now, Frank, and what are we staring at here? This green is anything other than symmetrical, so be very, very uh, cautious on where the flag is. Anything in the middle of the green you can putt to the corners, uh, well, if you can call them corners, more like ragtails, but uh, beautiful par three. That's a bit offline in the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Nice approach shot. We'll be happy with that. Even par currently. Drops it, and he's at even par. 
Frank, standing here on the fourth tee at Chambers Bay, you can see what this golf course is all about with those dunes on the left and all that sand down on the right. A lot of trouble here. Yeah, first hole, uh, Rich, really, that, that bends to the right. But uh, if anything, you want to keep the tee shot down the left side. It's going to give you a better angle to the green. And uh, unlike the two previous holes, this, uh, this fairway slopes to the other direction, to the right. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, this is a cross-country putt. He'll have a go at it, though, for birdie. We'll see. There's no backing down here. This is going to go up and down and all over the place, but a chance to go in. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, you hate to miss it from that distance. Uh, more than a setback there. So a drop shot right there, and now at one over par for the day. Frank, it's kind of fun to swing away on an elevated tee like this, the fifth here at Chambers Bay. It looks straight away. It certainly does. And uh, under 500 yards, so it gives you a chance, plus that elevation. Uh, you should be able to knock one down there. The, the whole pinch is in, though, with those bunkers left and right, and there's just one bunker in the front of this green. And that, as you can guess, should be avoided. Be careful. They call this hole free fall. And this attempt will be from about 130 yards. Should be safely on deck. Safely aboard. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Rory McIlroy looking to take advantage with this putt. One over for the deck. Getting set to hit the tee shot here at the sixth at Chambers Bay. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? There's a nice dune down that left side that, uh, that sort of gives you a good line that you can work the ball off uh, here. But remember, this is a Lynx golf course, so you don't try and fight Mother Nature because she'll always win. So just anything down the left, let, it, let that ball sort of kick its way back towards the middle of the fairway. A lengthy par four, though, at 495. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. And getting ready for the putt. Par for McElroy, but you're just waiting for that moment when he hits that accelerator and pulls away. Frank, this is a daunting challenge. The seventh hole, long par for it's over 500 yards. A huge bunker down the right side that uh, probably runs for a good two, three hundred yards. 
obviously that's to be avoided. And then of course there's the mounds and the hammocks and the dunes and that on the left side. That's the reason really why this hole's called humpback. Um, but then a little bit like the golf course, there's only one green side bunker to be worried about, but enough green left of that. Yeah, about 150 yards left here, Frank. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. So third shot now for Rory McIlroy. <laughs> He'll be pleased with that. The approach shot is about 12 feet away. It's that sneaky distance. Oh, now that is going to hurt. Trying to get out of here without too many bumps and bruises. This one is for bogey. Slipping just a bit, another bogey, and now two over par. Now to the eighth, and a long par five, Frank. Fortunately, there's no bunkers, just the dunes either side. The hole looks a little narrow off the tee, but get down there, you're going to realize that's a fairly generous fairway. There's a little bit of mounding in this green, um, too, that actually slopes it back towards the player. So that, use that to your advantage. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Good contact, good result. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Frank, I know you love boxing as, as I do. McElroy has that big punch knockout ability. It, it has you on the edge of your seat because you know at any moment he might end the fight. Yeah, there's always a spark there. Just or a little simmer and you think it's just going to burst into flames at one stage and just ignite Rory over any stretch of holes. Frank, the approach shot here at the 8th and what's a player looking at? Well, you've got uh, no bunkers really to worry about, but obviously a lot of undulation. You can see there that if you use the contours, that ball's going to kick around a little bit. Relatively narrow, but this is not a problem. You can go in here low or high. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Settles in over the putt. And he makes it for par. Frank, the ninth hole called Olympus. And that is very grand sounding. Like something that... You're talking great God here, aren't you? Come on, it's, this, this golf course is for the mere mortals, Rich. What was he thinking there? I have no earthly idea. Rich, I, th I think he's going for a different green. Are we on the wrong hole? That's not a green in, in regulation. That's a, a green in miscalculation. <laughs> that shot does finish up on the green, but it sets up for a very difficult putt. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus.
Been a rocky road to this point. Four over par on the round. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo playing Chambers Bay out in the state of Washington in the great northwest of the United States. Frank, let's take a closer look now at the 10th hole. Well, you can see where you've got to go by virtue of the dunes left and right. Um, this is one of the few greens that is